countries, only two stars and 0 0.5 points. This is the history of women in Formula 1. What is Formula 1's plan to change this? We're going to talk about this. Let's go! Hey, you're watching Condor Less Content. My name is Leila. Today we're going to talk about W series. Personally, I am highly critical of this series like a lot of other female racing drivers. Obviously, those who race in W Series are not critical of this series. But what are the pros and cons of this? Obviously, some people may ask, what is W Series? W Series is an all-women championship racing alongside Formula 1. A lot of racing drivers stated that this is an all-time low for women in motorsport. Others said that it's a fantastic opportunity for female racing drivers to show their talent. So my first problem with W Series was that it raced Formula 3 cars, but not the Formula 3 cars that they raced in the Formula 3 championship. So this results in the W Series being slightly slower and people using this as an opportunity to say women drive slower than men. This is not true. The W Series cars do not have DRS and they are made by different manufacturers. So last year when I really started like taking interest in racing and all of this stuff, first thing that I noticed is that W Series and Formula 3 will be racing in Barcelona. So I was obviously really excited to see and then I was a bit disappointed that I can't make this comparison because then I could prove my point or someone else can prove their point. But this way, nobody's proving a point and one party is only making a pull out of themselves. The W Series is FIA-backed. This is a fact. So obviously, there are more pros to this series than cons, yet that one con is like overwriting all of the pros. And that is that W Series is an isolation series. And I think that it's the beauty of motorsports that we don't have to distinguish men from women like in other sports, but everyone can race together. And it's a beautiful exception here that women can race alongside men and the fact that we isolate women and we make it like in football or in basketball or in any other sport, it's like saying, oh yeah, women can do it on their own. I recognize the issue in sponsorship money and uh, financial problems. And there is a tendency that men doesn't want women to race in motorsports, especially the Dundas McFresh Club, for some reason. What is the reason, really? And this brings us to the point where people think that W Series is a good idea. So obviously, not only women, but men drivers suffer from financial problems, but because there are so many men wanting to race in this series, People will always find someone who they can sponsor, who they can back up, and not every woman can find this financial aid. W Series is a provider, so drivers who race there don't need to pay anything, they don't need to bring sponsors, they don't need to bring anything. Their seat is fully paid for, and they don't have to contribute one penny. I'm not sure if they get paid, though, like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, let's leave it at that. And the next thing, which is like kind of the same, is that women can't reach higher categories because of this financial funding. So bar they can barely even reach like Formula 4 or Formula Regional, but there are no women in Formula 4 or Formula 3, and there's only one woman in Formula 2. So W Series really allows women to race in a higher category, to test out the Formula 3 car, to really get the hang of it. Most of the time this doesn't lead anywhere because like we saw Jamie Chadwick win the W Series crown three times and she didn't get not even a Formula 2 seat, not even a Formula 3 seat. She did get an IndyCar seat and the Williams simulator seat. And speaking of academies, W Series races alongside Formula 1 which means there are a lot of decision making people who can see these women race for example, talent recruiters or Formula 1 team principals or even Formula 3 and Formula 2 team, princi team principals who can decide if they want these women to race for their team or to sign them in their academy. 
A good example is Jamie Chadwick who got fined in the Williams Driver Academy or Abby Pulling in Alpine and so on. Another thing which is not really related to driving but is that more people get to know women drivers. I think this argument is the weakest because not a lot of people at Formula 1 races stay there to watch W Series or even Formula 3 or Formula 2. A good example of this is when we went to Imola and even the security was gone. So we could just go there uh, at any tribune and go up and see the race from there. Also, F1 TV didn't show W Series. So they said they will at the end of the season and then they cancelled it. And personally, I always struggled to find the W Series race. Sometimes they said they will show it on TV, my TV didn't show it, then they showed it on Facebook, then on Twitch, then on Instagram. So it was like really weird and they didn't have one platform where you can surely watch it. You really had to chase it. So catching it out of pure will was really difficult. Imagine the people who don't even want to watch it. They can't find it in one click, they won't watch it. I mean, obviously, uh, if it was there on Formula 1 TV, it wouldn't solve the issue, but I mean, it would be in sight, at least. But to bring a positive example, when we went to the Hungaro ring, there were a lot of people with the check flag, and I was like, okay, they are coming from Czechia, and that's why, but then it turns out that they were all rooting for Teresa Babikova, which was, I mean, really heartwarming, because even if Czechia is right next to Hungary, they came there to see and root for her, which was nice. I mean, I'm not even sure I even saw this much of a support for a women driver elsewhere, or even like a Formula 3 driver, male driver, but it was nice, it was really nice. I think this series was like a good idea at first, but now it's going on for three years and even the champion didn't get basically anywhere with this achievement. So I think it really stayed in the isolation series category. The point would have been that women drive in W series and then they graduate to Formula 3 or even to Formula 2. This didn't happen so I think even if the idea was good, it didn't really function the way that I would have thought this would have to go in order to be successful. But I do have some alternative solutions which are like pretty good. And first is Formula One Academy, which I think is kind of at the same level as W Series, but Formula One introduced this as something that people can graduate from. So I'm not sure if they would force the teams, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will, but there are already Formula 3 teams in this category. So they will race Formula 4 cars and then they will graduate not basically at the same team, but probably at the same team, to Formula 3 and then to Formula 2, which is kind of shady for the moment. It will start next year, so I'm kind of excited to see what it brings. I have that similar idea, like years ago, but obviously I didn't do it because who am I? My second solution is kind of already existing because it is to make like an all women racing team, like Iron Bank. So what I would do is to put a team like this in Formula 3, not even Formula 2 because like there would be no point of putting women in categories that they are like not ready for, just so that the category can have women but to put women in categories that they are ready for and that they can compete in. And this would be like a good start if they would found this. They probably won't because why would they? We don't want to see like women racing against men. Ew. Oh my god, the laundry is gone. See? This is a real woman. I'm doing laundry at home. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, an all women team and I think it would be I think it would be nice to at least see how women can compete against men. I mean, we don't really have an opportunity to see this in Formula categories. Obviously, in other categories, there are women who are pretty great. For example, Iron Dames, obviously, um, is my best example. But 
there are many women in motorsports who are really successful and niche not in formula categories. So my next solution is like kind of uh, like a dream, like, I mean, these are solutions that would cost about the same as W series, but it would take like more energy and more time to do them. And it is really a long term plan. What I'm thinking is that Formula One should really integrate women at a young age, like around three or five in racing. So obviously a lot of families are still based on the women should be women and men should do manly things, um, dynamic and people don't really take their daughters to go karting, which I think is bad. And I think that Formula One should do this and make like some impact and even do Formula One scouting camps for these girls so they can go go-karting, they can go experience and then they should found these people so they can go compete. And if we take into account that there will be probably a lot of people interested in this, at least one of them would be successful. At least one. I think. The last thing is not related to driving, but it's related to making Formula One a safe place for women already. Like, I read the news about women being harassed at Grand Prix and stuff, and thankfully I haven't experienced this. I mean, I have experienced it once, but that man was an asshole to everybody. Um, and then someone, um, someone punched him. That was, that was fun, okay? That was funny. I can laugh because he was an asshole. So seriously, what I'm saying is that, for example, in MotoGP, they still have the women dressed in really a little clothing and they are holding the umbrellas and I think it's so misogynous, like, ugh, like it gives me the itch, like, seriously. I mean, I love MotoGP and I will watch the races, but Please, please get rid of the girls holding the umbrellas. I mean, why can't your race engineer hold it? Like in Formula One, why can't your race engineer hold the fucking umbrella? Why can't you hold the umbrella? And also um, in Formula One, like sometimes I see, for example, at the Austrian Grand Prix, the girls dressed in folklore. And I think it's nice because I'm Hungarian. Obviously, uh, I know we have folklore. And they didn't show it at our Grand Prix for some reason. I think it's better than the Austrian. But still, so women are being sexualized because of this. Also, at the American Grand Prix, when they bought out those cheerleaders, okay, that was weird. That was more weird. It really gives the feeling that this sport is okay with women being sexualized. And this is an issue that doesn't seem that deep, but it should be resolved. I mean, obviously, not everyone is thinking this way. I mean, I see a cheerleader, I'm not thinking, oh my god, uh, I'm a woman and I, I feel like sexualized. But obviously, it goes really deep, this thing. And I don't want to be this serious. Like, obviously, this is, a, this is an issue. But I mean, no one's talking about it and it's fucking me up. Like, why would, why would anybody want to sexualize women? Like, what is wrong with you guys? I mean, I'm sexualizing men, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm kind of fucked up. I'm starting to talk about something and I'm like, <sighs> but I mean, this is my favorite topic in motorsports, women in motorsports. And this is something that I personally want to resolve. I mean, if I had some money, I would absolutely put it into some fundraising for women. But I don't have any money, so please, if you're a fundraiser or you're a millionaire, please support me. Okay, so I asked for money, now I'm going to ask you for likes and for subscribes. I hope you like this video, I mean, I wouldn't. Oh my god, 38 minutes?